What is it? Oh, Nautilus. Oh, Nautilus. Nautilus. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Ah! That's insane. <laughs> Let's see. It's finally happened. happened. Oh my gosh, Samantha's gonna be so sad. She just handed over to me. <laughs> five, 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 five. Don't stop tagging into okay, the Okay, okay, oh, tagging, God. tagging. On both of them, zooming in. What? Yep, I'm going in. A Nautilus on. <laughs> Come true. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, Let's stay here forever. Turn the lasers off. Lasers off. Lasers off. Lasers off. This is fantastic. Jonathan, I will get you this ProRes ASAP. Is Pat watching? Oh, I am. Yeah. I'm just tagging this with exclamation marks, Jacob. <laughs> that is more than good enough. This is definitely the new YouTube homepage. They do exist and they're real. They're not unicorns. It only took 15 years. <laughs> rolled with is Pat dinner. there to tell us a bit, or Lori, about the last few times they saw these in the area? Yeah, we've seen them uh, from ROVs and subs uh, between 400 and about 1,000 feet. We're a little bit deeper. We're 360 meters. Wow. Oh, that's, oh, that's so that's cool. cool. Okay, we are also freaking out in the lounge, by the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's so cute. Look at its little oh, It's chugging along. It is it's really propulsion. moving. Yeah, yeah just propulsion. When you see a Nautilus, are they by themselves, or you typically run into? They're sort of solitary, but they can. There are a lot of them at, at depth. Oh, wow! I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a few more. The Nautilus population in Palau is stable, and uh, the animals are doing well. Oh, that's fantastic! Palau has been a hotbed for Nautilus research for the last 50 years. Uh, much of the, the first work that was ever done on living Nautilus was done here. And oh! You drug out of line on like 20 meters chasing that Nautilus. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. I guess with the various cameras, is there a way we can get sort of size or depth on the images with post-processing? <gasps> is it another one? I don't know. I don't want to say anything. I it think looks, it's another one. It looks like one. <laughs> yes. Can we zoom in, Jacob? Yep. Another Nautilus. Yep. Absolutely Here we go. Here in. we go again. This, this is the... looks like it's behaving. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. All you have to do to see a Nautilus is start talking about internal waves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is wonderful to see him out on the open sand like this. Very exciting. We've seen them along the reef, along rocks, but uh, this is very interesting as they sit out on the sand. Uh, certainly would imply that there aren't many predators coming along. Uh, hopefully those six scale sharks won't find them, find these guys, but uh, it's very, very interesting. All right, uh, are we done and moving on? Or... Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's hard, very hard to leave behind, <laughs> but... But we did have a lot to do, we right? Did, we did have a lot. <laughs> Um, all right, yeah. All right, carrying on. I think that's number three. All right, I knew there'd be another one, so we are at... Uh, oh. Push in there. Again, you know, look, this was just sitting out on the open bottom. I can't believe we've seen three. Just gorgeous, perfect timing. Hey, uh, Nautilus, guys, I have to tell you, we, we're playing a joke on you. <laughs> hey, guys, you know, we've got a half a dozen, you know, ceramic Nautilus, and we've yeah. got them out of this area. <laughs> Hey, you know what? It's no, working. <laughs> so Nautilus have somewhat simple eyes. They have pinhole eyes, which function almost exactly the same as pinhole cameras. So even if those were positioned in a way where they were on the back of the shell, um, the resolution is still very, very low. So is the Nautilus hanging on in the sediment with its, do they call them tentacles or? What? Yeah, they're tentacles. I don't think they're hanging on. They, they use those to feed. How many tentacles do the Nautilus have? I've heard several dozen. Um, okay. A species that we had on exhibit at Monterey Bay Aquarium a few years ago had 90 tentacles. 90? Yeah. Okay. But it just depends on the species. I don't know what okay. this species has. Google says more than 90 tentacles. Great. Wow. Thank you, Google. There's a Nautilus. <gasps> Nautilus. Number four. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> guess we better zoom. Oh, they're so cool. Something about the way they move just seems like 
It's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's like watching a dinosaur. Yeah. Their body pattern it's or like their redefining my understanding of yeah. It's like <laughs> their morphology hasn't changed in thousands, millions of years. Are the do the patterns on the shells of these nautiluses not a lie? Nautiluses, not a lie. I haven't decided. Would those be able to help us tell them apart, like our fingerprints? Uh, it's my understanding they probably would. Yes, each one is distinctive to an individual. I hope, and uh, I don't know if anybody's ever done that. Seen plenty of shells over the years, but yeah, it could be an individual recognition factor. So I guess that means that there's a chance that this is one nautilus that keeps following us. <laughs> Yeah, well, you could take all those still images you uh, shot and, you know, put them one against another and check it out. That'd be kind of fun to do. They look like if you brought them into air, they would also hover there as well. <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, Nautiluses, like, right behind our head or around our shoulder, just, like, floating along with us, like, familiars. Yeah. Like, gravity doesn't mean anything to them. <laughs> 